Hello, my name is Andy and I'm the Village Idiot, a man with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Now, I'm beginning this one stood next to a sign, which you might recognise, Whitwell sign. You'd have seen that at the beginning of the Whitwell video. Now, this is kind of the boundary between Whitwell and today's parish, although it really, in theory, is actually that way, just a little bit further beyond this van that's currently in shot because it's the railway line so this uh, this sign is sort of not in the right place but I'm not gonna grumble about that because between here and the railway line there's not really much to write home about I'm stood in front of a quarry there you, have, there you go and this quarry is in the southern part of this parish which is not very big at all this one will probably be no more than say I don't know six or seven minutes in terms of length and I've probably spent a minute talking to the camera already. This is the parish of Hodthorpe and Belf. So just before I move on through Belf and into Hodthorpe, I need to mention Creswell Crags. Now, there is a parish around here that's called Elmton with Creswell, and one of the things that people flock to Creswell for is Creswell Crags. It's a prehistoric gorge uh, with a, a pond and some nice caves, some rocky outcrops, similar to the ones that are over there that I tried to take a shot of a few minutes ago. Now, Creswell Crags is right on the border between Bolsover and Bassetlaw. And most of it, believe it or not, falls within Bassetlaw because Creswell Crags doesn't belong to Elmton with Creswell. It's weird. <laughs> so that will actually be covered in the Holbeck episode of Bassetlaw, not in any of these Bolsover episodes. The reason I'm mentioning it here is because part of it falls within Hodthorpe and Belf but it doesn't make sense to go there twice. So from here, we're gonna go through Belf and into Hodthorpe, and we're gonna leave Creswell Crags alone for when I cover that in Holbeck. Okay, so this area on the map is marked as two things. It's marked firstly as Belf, which seems to be very loosely defined. It just seems to be an area of, uh, 
farmland, you know, open countryside. Um, but it's also marked with another name, uh, which is Penny Green.
Okay, everybody, that's it for the parish of Hodthorpe and Belf, a village built on coal. Very varied as well, isn't it? You obviously have the, the former colliery settlement here. You have Belf, which is open countryside for the most part. And, and obviously you've got the quarry at the uh, southern end of the parish. Um, I'm not sure uh, when Hodthorpe and Belf became a separate parish from Whitwell, uh, but it did at some point. They're now two separate areas. And if you look on Google Maps, if you type Whitwell Civil Parish in, it brings up the entire area of Whitwell and Hobthorpe and Belf together. So they haven't updated that yet, but the railway line is the boundary, as I explained in the Whitwell episode. And there you have it. So time to move on to my next one in Bolsover, wherever that may be. But until then, until next Tuesday, I've been the village idiot and this has been the parish of Hobthorpe and Belf. And I'm out. Thank you.